Hello YouTube, it's Magma Rhino here, and I'm bringing you a video that was based on a request, not really a request, just a suggestion made in a comment on a recent video. I'm going to be doing a quick review of some of the my favorite uh, free games and apps, and I'm also going to be going over customizations that are built into the operating system. So what I'm going to do first, oops, I'm going to go over, I just put together a quick list of my uh, favorite apps. On the left here, I have uh, entertainment, uh, utilities, kind of all that random stuff. Middle, I have games, and right, I have uh, like hardware modifications and similar stuff like that. Uh, because Android's open, an open-based system, uh, you can customize customize a lot of stuff. Unlike Apple, where you're stuck to what they give you. Okay, first, I'm just gonna run through each of these quickly so you can see them. Uh, here, I have MapDroid. What you do with MapDroid is you can download maps of entire regions, uh, maps of the roads, and it uh, saves them all for you. So it takes up a lot of memory. If I did the entire U.S. So as you can see, in a second it'll load. Maybe to zoom in a little. There, it loads all the maps. I'm connected to Wi-Fi, except it's not actually using it. But here it'll keep all the roads. You can do that. You can download whichever maps you uh, choose to. Next, battery monitor widget. Uh, I got the pro version. You can get the free one. The only difference is you can't get this little uh, icon down there, which tells you about your battery life. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on the bottom right. Um, but the free version, it has all this. You can customize what you want to see on your home screen. It's got the estimizations, uh, a chart of the estimizations, and then it's got your available battery and temperature, and you can scroll through to see other stuff. I just like to keep it on those. Next, barcode scanner. It basically does what it says it does. Uh, got a water bottle here. I'll just scan it quickly. There, it scans it, tells you what it is, gives you a, a price, and then you can do a, a product ser search, a web search, stuff like that. Alright, next is Google Sky Map. I can't really show you it right now because of um, my position, but it, it just shows you what's surrounding you, all the stars and the planets and stuff like that when you point at the sky. So that's a really cool app just to mess around with. Uh, Google Earth, it's just a basic uh, good free one to get. You just get a map of the globe and the satellite terrain, all that. And it's basically like maps except I kinda like it better. It's easier to use and it, it loads them. Um, quicker usually. Next, the weather channel app. This is just a basic weather app. Uh, it's pretty good on the tablet tablet uh, interface um, because of the way it's set up. I don't even know if it's going to load right now. It should. Alright, well it's not loading right now. I'm not sure what's wrong. I don't feel like figuring it out. I'll deal with that later. But it uh, works really good when it is working. And then the last one for this category is a movies app which uh, runs off Flickster. Flickster. Gosh, I can't speak today. Anyway, it gives you the opening this week, top box office, all that info, upcoming movies. It actually uh, gives you upcoming movies like, very far into the future. Like You can scroll down. This is in uh, 2012. In the middle of 2012, it gives you some movies that have been announced. So that's pretty cool. And then you can watch trailers, stuff like that. Alright, next is games. Uh, these aren't exactly my favorites, but they're kind of generally the favorites that are free. Uh, some of these are my favorite. This first is uh, Air Control Light. Uh, the light version, you only get one map. So it gets boring kind of quick, but if you want, you can buy the full version and get more maps. You just have to direct the planes into where they're going. Big planes go over here. Little planes go there, and helicopters go there. And you just gotta make sure they don't crash. Like, if they're gonna crash or something, uh, you lose the game and save your score where it is. 
and they're too slow. Oh well. Alright, next game is uh, Asteroid Defense HD. HD means that it's uh, optimized for tablets. Uh, it is in the portrait lens, portrait mode orientation, um, but it's still HD, so it looks good. I uh, hear you just build turrets, and you have to defend uh, yourself from asteroids that come. So I'll just show you quick. So asteroids come in, you just have to defend your main base. And you gotta keep uh, power to uh, meet the demand. And it just keeps going on forever. Alright, next is Angry Birds. I'm sure everyone knows about Angry Birds. A lot of people like it, I don't. But it's personal choice. Um, it's not optimized for tablets yet, I don't know why. But it's still, it works pretty good. The As you can see, the icons are small. And you can change the zoom to fill screen, but then they're just too pixelated, it's really ugly. But, um, everything works smoothly on this. And it is free. If you're familiar with Apple, you'll know that it costs a dollar in the App Store. But, uh, Android is different. They don't charge developers, so, uh, they can put it for free like that. Uh, next is Fruit Slice. It's a ripoff of, um, Fruit Ninja pretty much exactly the same. I don't really care for this app either. I just find it kind of boring, but uh, a lot of people do like it. So you can get that for free, and that's the uh, full version of it. Uh, next, Drag Racing. This is kind of a random one that I like. You don't have to do much. It's, like, it's really simplified, but uh, it's still good. Let's see. Oh, right, I did uh, reset my game. Um, a while ago, I almost... Fr oh, I completely froze up my tablet trying to get Netflix on it to work. So I had to restore it and stuff. But basically... All you have to do is uh, race and shift gears and stuff. Oh, next, of course. So you just accelerate here. And then you shift gears, and you just upgrade your car, and get better and better until you end up just getting bored because you have everything in the game. Uh, next one is the last game. Um, it's basically you're just in a tube, and you have to tilt to control which side of the uh, tube you're on. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's like, it's very simple to get. It's kind of like a 3D version, I believe it's called Cube Runner, something like that. So you just have to avoid all of the blocks, and you get power-ups and stuff like that. Sorry, I pick up. So if you hit the block, you lose. Game over. Alright, on to, um, like, modifying your system. Uh, the stock keyboard, I'll show you that quick. I don't really care for it at all. I don't know why, I just, I don't like it at all. It's not very useful for me. I took off, like, the suggestions. It comes stock. There's a list of suggestions at top, on the top when you start typing. So if you're going to say, like, uh, hazelnut, you can type in H-A-Z-E, and it might pop up up there and you can click it. But I didn't like using that. You could also do the swipe. Oops. You can't do it on this app or uh, search thing for some reason strange but if you go in here you can uh, can't do it there either sorry here go here you can swipe to type so as you can see you can't do it in every app and um, that works good sometimes but occasionally you can go right from letter to letter to letter and it will not get the word and it won't even so show up as a suggestion so I got a tablet keyboard. Uh, it's a free version. What it is, is it's just like a more simplified, except it's more complicated. Uh, you can't swipe, but what it does do is it pops up the little letter, 
so you can see what you're hitting. And also you can split it to do thumb keyboard mode if you're holding it. So I really like that. It's uh, easy to use. Next, stocks. It's not actually a major customization except what I did is I just got the widget from it and that's all I use. Um, market's tanking today, which sucks, but that's life. Um, so really the stock app, I don't ever go into the app, I just use the widget on the home page. So that's helpful. And then um, Pick Speed HD, I believe it's called. It's just a bunch of uh, backgrounds. Uh, so you can just download the photos or this is where you get into the, uh, my next part of this video, customization. Hold down your finger at any home screen and it'll bring you to this menu. What you can do is you can add these widgets. Uh, some of my favorites, even though I don't use it, even though I don't use it, the Asus MyZine is pretty cool. What it does is it plays a slideshow of your pictures in that box. Should focus. Eh, it's not gonna. Sorry. Uh, it shows a slideshow in that box, and then it shows on the right or left of uh, last music playing, your books, stuff like that. Uh, you got your weather widget, that's on my home screen. An analog clock you'd use, some battery stuff. That's only the pro version, you have to buy it. Uh, email stuff. Uh, th they have this cool thing, it's called picture frame, and it is what it says it is. Uh, what you do. Sorry, I zoomed out too far there. You just select a picture, and that's it. And it's just like a little picture frame, you can put it wherever you want. Uh, one of my favorites is this uh, music app. It's actually on this home screen. And what it is, is just your controls right there, and they're out there all the time. You tap on the left part, it'll bring you to your music player. You tap on the right, and you can get your controls. Um, that's it for widgets, really. There's some more good ones. Apps, you can scroll through your apps here if you'd like. I don't know why they put that there, because you can just go to your apps here. And that's a full screen version of all your apps. But I guess, um, if you just like your hol holding your finger down on the screen you can do that. Uh, you can change your wallpapers here. You got your live wallpapers, the uh, water one which shows your battery level, map shows your position, and a random spiral thing. It, except for the battery level one, the water, the other two tend to uh, make it lag a lot when you're switching pages. So that's why I kind of stuck with the standard thing. Um, other than that, for customization you get, actually this is pretty cool, I don't use it. But in this more section, you get shortcuts to specific directories within an app. So you can go to a, set a specific setting area. Oops, sorry, I clicked that too quick. So you can select a specific uh, setting. Oops, sorry. And what it is, and when, when you tap it, you go right to that setting. So that's the battery use or whatever. Then you can just remove it if you don't want it. Um, as far as the widgets go, some of the stock widgets are resizable. So you can just hold down your finger and you can drag to resize it. Um, the calendar widget I have resized too. I believe that is it for uh, customization. You can get uh, a bunch of different widgets and stuff from the apps, not the app store, sorry, uh, app market. Marketplace right here. And then you can uh, find them when you hold down your finger and go to widgets. They'll appear in here. Like, I have a bunch that weren't built in, like the stocks, scanner radio, a bunch of stuff like that. Um, and that is pretty much it for this video. So, um, soon, maybe within the next week, I'll be bringing a video on a review of the uh, built-in applications, like the uh, maps, the YouTube browser, stuff like that, go into more detail. Um, and... Hopefully within two weeks, I'm going to be doing some Xbox gameplay stuff. I ordered a part off eBay, which makes it so I can connect it to the computer and record. So hopefully that works and I can get some videos up. Um, that's pretty much all for now. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. And uh, see you later.